single gender schools. More are popping up in Dallas ISD, specifically the Southeast Dallas Pleasant Grove area. The question, will they make a difference? CBS 11 Steve Pickett live in Pleasant Grove at one of the schools making the change this year. Yeah, Kaylee, and quite the change it is. As you mentioned, this is a neighborhood middle school, but the name change is a reflection of a shift in what they're doing at Florence Middle School. It is now the Young Men's Leadership Academy. This neighborhood for this school, this school starting Monday welcomes boys only. It's a good, a good thing. Twin brothers Guadalupe and Francisco Escalante played on the practice squad for Florence Middle School. Up right here. This is what they practiced: life in a single gender all boys school setting. Starting Monday, 1,000 other boys will join the Escalantes inside Dallas ISD's largest all boys school. Balch Springs Middle School becomes the largest all girls school. Both converted to single gender based on appeals from parents. And what we're hearing from parents is that's something they want. And, and we intend to provide them what they want and what we know students often need. Okay, all right. These schools are neighborhood-based. Thank you for coming back. Families don't apply or audition to wear these uniforms. The Escalante spent last year here with 100 other boys in a separate setting to gauge the academic outcomes. They just did a better job academically and socially. Um, so we're just excited for the opportunity to give them this. Uh, the opportunity to provide them a better education, a better academic environment here at this neighborhood school. As mentioned, Dallas ISD already has gender schools, but they are magnet schools. The Barack Obama Leadership Academy, the Irma Rangel Girls Academy, you have to apply to get in those schools. That's the difference here. This is a neighborhood school in Balt Springs Middle School, also the neighborhood school, just a mile or so away, for girls only. They want to see if they can garner growth for girls and boys in this part of Dallas. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.